inside of me. I've been running in circles in a vain attempt to regain some sort of control over my life. Inhale, exhale, let go, surrender, surrender to the flow, and it's taking me on all the journeys that have been trying to find me. Swimming against the current for so long has been leaving me weak. I seem to always be resisting what is good for me. I've been learning lessons from absence for too long. I want to start experiencing what fullness is like to have some stability in my ever-shifting life. I've had countless people come and go. I want to start meeting the one. We're rolling. These little intro bits that we do. Sometimes I do. We go into everything, Check. Check. no Check. plans Check. at all. Not no, knowing what, the what we're gonna say. Okay. Yeah, because okay. it's the mystery. The mystery. Let me turn this off. All right, testing one, two. Can I see? <laughs> the mic that's not plugged in. <laughs> that's the joke. I mean, that's, <laughs> that's the joke that it's nobody not knows. It's hot. It's a hot mic. Oh. I get it. So, all right, we're back again. Yeah, we're back. Yeah, the Artocast studio, aka there. my bedroom. <laughs> yes, I can see. Go for He's it. It's good. Live oh. streaming. AKA, wait, we have to be the downstairs living room. And go. Oh, AKA. AKA. <laughs> there used to be a stripper bowl right here. There was. Yes, there was. Yes. Back in the day, we used to skate in this room before it was finished. It was oh, yeah? just all concrete. Lots of may <laughs> lots of stupid shenanigans would happen in this room. Good. Okay. But anyway, yeah. <laughs> You want to get out of the guest spot? No, yeah, let's get to it. I'm not, I have nothing else to I have nothing to say to you, Sean. But I'm, I'm <laughs> glad to get to meet Katie here because, you know, I think we all need some mindfulness and some talk about oh, DR and some, you know, good yeah. things to... Or not. Whatever. <laughs> We're going to hear it. Everybody, let's get to it. Katie. <laughs> you! Thanks, man. You bet. Oh, yeah, I got to oh. get that kombucha. Oh. got to get that kombucha. I, yeah, get some kombucha. <laughs> This guy brought some alcoholic kombucha. Oh, like there's actual, some right there. Because like there's like oh. trace amounts in those. Yeah, yeah, totally. He was yeah. saying that you don't drink though. Yeah, I don't yeah. drink. No, very that's good. Often. Yeah. Nice. yeah. I, I recently we he talk, we talk about it every time he comes over. <laughs> we don't. So are you sure you're done drinking? <laughs> like you can drink. If we you want. we don't. But. Yeah, I don't drink too much anymore. Right on. Any uh, specific Beautiful. reason? Or? Lots of reasons. Uh, I went super hard in the early twenties. And the I 1920s? Think, yeah, I think I just got burned out, dude. Like, I just got burned out on it, and I, get it. I was craving something different. And I got into yoga and went to massage school, and that totally changed my life. And I just appreciated being more clear in my head. Yes. Is that so? Is that what you do for work? Is like massage? Yeah. Okay. yeah I'm so a massage therapist. Right on. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, were you like? Go, were you like full like full bore alcoholic or like how no. was that okay because I feel like I was <laughs> no. like yeah. I mean I don't know if we want to get into that but no nah, I mean it was it wasn't like that you know it was just too much partying on the weekends and yeah respect <laughs> well it wasn't like you joined a rock band and just like, I didn't join a rock dude, band dude I don't know what my problem but it's was. not just like <laughs> sober January and that whatever it is you know don't drink December. Something I don't know. <laughs> no, I don't know. She'll yeah, have it's a like, down there. It's like kombuchas now. There we go. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So, so are you from Utah? Uh, from California. Oh, sick. Why are you here? <laughs> my family. family. Yeah. Are you Mormon? Um, a lot of my family is. So I like moved out here really young with my fam and kind of just stuck around. Salt Lake is actually not that bad. No, I love it here. Born and raised. In this house. Wow. Yeah. Cool, dude. But, yeah, I mean, it doesn't get much better than being able to drive like 15 minutes to the mountains. Mm -hmm. I actually just finished a hike and then drove over here. And that's yeah. awesome. See what you I'm know? saying? Yes. It's awesome. This is what I've been talking about right here. <laughs> dude, I know. I <laughs> need more of it. I need to leave this And everybody really needs a little something like that, which they don't do. I mean, the mountains yeah. are really need... close for us. Yeah. Yeah. That's I don't so. think it's summer mountains, but. Winter hikes are pretty cool, actually, and I tend to like yeah. get really hot and sweaty really easily. So in the winter, it's like a lot better. But then I get cold <laughs> once the sun starts to go down because I'm just wet. You gotta do the layers, man. Yeah. <laughs> totally. You're talking well, I usually right here. Yeah. Get your information. 
Dude, I'm like, <laughs> I'm kidding, just go, I'm sorry. Dude, let's go to winter hike tomorrow. <laughs> okay. It's supposed to snow. Well, we're gonna go in the water. We're gonna do some ice surfing soon with some guy that goes in the rivers here. I oh, I actually saw that on your Insta story. That's my other friend Josh, but you have cool. another guy named Sam. He does it all winter long at like places, like with cool. surfboards and stuff. Wow. Okay. About to see what's going down. Yeah, I saw on your Insta story this guy <laughs> getting into a, like a body of water and he's like picking up ice and moving oh, it out yeah. of the way. That's Josh, yeah. Crazy. That's what he, yeah. he's like the ice man, loves that ice man. The ice man. <laughs> loves all that stuff about it. He's been doing it. He sends me stuff like that all the time, so. Cool. Yes. Yeah, that's awesome. And the breathing with that. Yeah. And doesn't it like... Do you go into ice very often? Ice water? Uh, I do in the summers, actually. Oh, yeah. yeah, so me and my partner, when we're hiking in the summer, we'll find like a big lake or something and do cold dips in there. It's really there pretty good. Cool. It's crazy how there's still like snow and ice, like even in the mountains here in the middle of July. I remember like, a couple years ago, we went sledding down one of the mountains into the water. It was fucking crazy. <laughs> but is it like a therapeutic reason to do that or just for fun or uh i mean there's a lot of therapeutic reasons it's really good for the body it calms your central nervous system it allows you to you're essentially creating a stressful environment for your body so that does something to your thought process that does something to your mind when you're in other stressful situations it's like you're flexing this muscle right you're like kind of mentally working out so you can actually handle stress better in your life do you think you could work that out too much sometimes by putting yourself in stressful situations? No, it clears it. Or does it clear that it? That ice, thing, like they say, like the it really stuff. clears your... Like you're not thinking it, you're just thinking survival. I had a buddy... And you just eliminate life. And, tell me, and every time you. he would be done showering, he'd switch it on cold all the way. Mm -hmm. Like, he'd just take a nice, hot, soothing shower, and then just flip yeah. it on cold. And then I started doing that a bit, because you're, like, really comfortable, and you're, like... I don't know, content, and then you just turn it on cold, and you don't want to get out, but totally. I don't know. It's I don't good know if that helps. I like it warm. I've heard it does help with, like, your skin, too, your pores. Like, I don't know yeah. if that does anything. It does. So the body is, I mean, you're taking a really hot shower, right? And that causes vasodilation. So your, um, oh my goodness, what's the name? Your blood vessels are getting bigger. And then when the cold water happens, it causes vasoconstriction, so it's getting smaller, so you're like pumping the toxins out of your body. Oh, and That's sure. why it cleanses out the face, too. It's good for your skin, you're like oh, pushing okay. out impurities, yeah. I guess I just didn't believe my friend. <laughs> 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 oh, okay. So there's like, he never explained like the I reason like behind of like, like why, like, why do you do that? Why like, you all right, that? so I just, I would do it not even knowing why, I'm just like, I thought I was just like toughening myself up, like I just endure the coldness. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, so there's, like, <laughs> there's benefits. So Even, like, so if you were trying to, like, detox from, like, alcohol or drugs, mm -hmm. like, doing that, like, taking a cold shower after a hot shower totally. would be beneficial. Yeah, you can even do, like, another round. So after the cold, turn it back to hot and do another round of cold. Oh, shit. Because then you're creating a pumping motion, right? The yeah. muscles open and they close and then they open and they close. Yeah. Damn. I'll have to try that. <laughs> <laughs> I like it warm. So I don't know. <laughs> I know. Well, but, I think, but I'm gonna try the cold things. That's like do it, yeah. good to getting out of your comfort zone, exactly. I guess, as well. Just I don't know if that does anything. No, it shame, you, you know, all you care about is getting surviving when it gets cold. I mean, I think when you embrace it instead of just having it on, by a plague of your car breaking down and you're freezing is a different story. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't know what I'm saying. Your car breaks down and you're stuck and you're cold without a heater. That's a different story. But when then you embrace the cold and like say, hey, I'm going to do it there and look for it, it's a different. <laughs> so when you're put into the situation I without. I know it's good. <laughs> but like when you're in the shower, you can choose to you're put on the cold. You're choosing to put on the coal. <laughs> but when your car breaks down in the middle of the You're not winter, choosing it. That's yeah. different. That's different, different. Totally different scenario. Scenario is <laughs> different. It would be dying. Oh from my god. Frostbite, whatever. Yeah. So tell us a little bit about yourself. Like what are what is your art or like some things that you like yeah. to do, some hobbies? Yeah, so actually since COVID happened I've gotten into rock climbing. Oh hell yeah. And that's been really amazing and it just it's gone hand in hand with my yoga practice. Perfect. I've like unexpectedly fallen in love with rock climbing. Um, so that's been really cool and I've also 
just turned the dial up on my painting. I'm painting way more. I took an oil painting course in addition to the visual arts program that I'm in now. Um, I'm in this visual arts program and it's so fucking dry. It's like not interesting. Really? Yeah, and I'm learning a lot of technical things. I'm learning a lot of techniques, which is amazing. Um, but I'm not really learning what I want. Like it's not taking me in the direction you I want like to go. You feel like you could just do YouTube tutorials on this shit that you're learning? Um, or where, where, you go, where are you going for school? Excuse me. Right now I'm going to Slick. Okay. So I can get all the general stuff out of the way. And then I plan on uh, doing my BFA at the U. Right. Going in for the Fine Arts Bachelor's. Sorry, my cat is yeah. on one right now. <laughs> it's... That's it. adorable. <laughs> He lo I have all these toys for him, and he's really after this this gum wrapper. <laughs> it's totally cute. <laughs> um, yeah, so I ended up taking an oil painting course from this painter that I just fangirl out over. Her name's Stephanie Rose Freeman. She's located in Australia, and I saw she was offering a painting course, and I'm like, I have watched this independent artist grow massively over the last three or four years, and she's doing something right. She has a successful art business, she's working for herself, and she's painting consistently. And that's tough to be able to like take your hobby or your art and make a career out of it. Totally. Is that like, that's something you'd like, like to do with like the, the painting? Absolutely. Or is that, because I mean, you're doing massage therapy right now, would yeah. you like to keep doing that, or like do you want to move into a different direction with your art and try to make yeah. that like a full-time career? So I know that's that's really tough. It is tough. Like I have a couple of art buddies, and one of them's just recently been going crazy, trying to like sell all his shit, and just yeah. So yeah. that's really tough, you know, just spending all this time doing it. But I mean, this is the conversation I'm having with myself. You know, yeah. it's like uh, massage. I mean, I've been doing massage for ten years. So you're like a professional. Like you, I am a you professional. Are, you are. I'm like, licensed. I went to yeah. school. Even without like the papers, like I feel like ten years is like the professional mark. I mean, you could yeah. do, like, less and be, like, professional, but, like, you've done it that long, so totally. just, like, I don't know. Yeah. No, I hear what you're saying. Um, oh, excuse me. I've done yeah. it long enough for sure that I feel really comfortable there, and I've been there for a long time, and I know that realm, and I love it. I'll probably always do it a little bit on the side um, because it's just really amazing. But I would like to start shifting more into the art realm and teaching art. Yeah, so my thought process is yes, absolutely, I would love to sell my art and also be really, really cool to teach as well. I was gonna say, for now, like, would you be able to do online? Like, would you do online classes or do would you yeah. like to do probably in person? But like, that's. I don't know. Yeah, it's tricky because of COVID. Well, what I've heard, you could do. Uh, like Patreon classes, like yeah. for now, and like have people pay like online doing it that way. Patreon is amazing because it totally supports independent artists, yeah. and that money goes directly to the artist. It's a platform made for independent artists, which is really cool. Do you have one? I don't. You need to make. <laughs> it's have you on... been to his? Uh -huh. My Patreon. You don't want to be on my Patreon. <laughs> Absolutely not. You do. Okay. <laughs> Yeah, what a, great, what a great new platform for artists to get paid directly. Yes. Yeah. It's on that list, but right now I'm so maxed out on my time. Like I just don't have the bandwidth to put together courses and lessons because I'm in school still. Mm. So. Well, you don't want to get burnt out oh. either. Yeah, that was a question I was going to ask about school. Why don't you do like most people to quit? <laughs> <laughs> And then go off that direction. They oh still, you know, everybody quit. That's funny. It's everybody funny because quit. artists all quit school. It's they funny because uh, they leave. Last semester I had a really hard semester, and I was like, oh, do I just stop? Because like I would have more time to paint and have more time to make my own art. And also, I would like to go for my bachelor of fine art, and I need to keep going. You know? Cool. Do you ever find yourself like sitting up at night, like? Why do I? Why do I want to do art? Why do I want to paint? Like, it'd be so much easier if I just <laughs> like, just you know what I mean? Like, because you love yeah. to do it, and then it gets like frustrating, gets stressful, and then you, sometimes you just want to quit. But you know, like, what would I do if I did quit? Like, I, I have no other. Not that you don't have other passions, but like, this is like my number one thing that I want to do with my life. 
-hmm. And if you were to like, do you ever get that way or not really? Do you ever not like have those thoughts in the back of your head that you just want to like <laughs> stop for a second and mellow out? Maybe because I'm like, I still think that's how I feel sometimes with what I do. You know, and I'm coming up on my 10 year mark. I'm like, what the fuck am I doing with my life? Like, but. I mean, it's pretty natural. I think definitely all of us have that conversation with ourselves. Right. It's so human. Um, is definitely there. I've definitely been like, dude, you're just gonna draw pictures. You're just gonna like, like what, am I, what am I doing for this wedding? Well, it also is a curse when you stop. Then you you be your worst enemy because well, you'll be sitting at home and then now you, you have no school to. You literally like, and then you get into something else or <laughs> distract you. Yeah. I don't know. Kind of like people wish they don't have jobs when they stop having a job. <laughs> this is this feels a little different. Like this feels a little different, different than yeah. that. Um, more so because I feel so pulled in Good. this direction, and you know what? I tried to ignore it for a while, mm. and Dude, it's fine. Uh oh. So <laughs> do you do that? One? I don't know. Something wrong with you. Fine, I got what I need. Oh shit! I just forgot what I was gonna say. Um. You're saying uh, that. That that's different. Having a job is different yeah, yeah. than like you feel really pulled to wanting to do this. Yeah. Yes, that's right. I I had kind of pushed this path away for a while because I thought that you needed a lot of talent to be an artist, and I didn't have that. You know, I was like, well, I'm not talented. I just don't have whatever that is, and I have this really great gig with massage going, and I can just do that. Um, and then I dated an artist, and he was an oil painter, and he was an incredible oil painter. And one time I was, I expressed to him, oh, I really want to do that, I just, you have so much talent. And he had a real conversation with me, and I was like, I don't have talent. This is a lot of years of hard work. This, what you're looking at, let me show you some sketchbooks from like 15 years ago. And he pulled them out, and I looked at them, and I was like, oh. Why? You started here? And now you're here? I can do this! I can... Okay, I'm gonna take some, like, drawing classes, and took some drawing classes at a tattoo shop, <laughs> right which was super fun, and then I started to learn, like, it, it really is more about the hard work than the talent of it. Oh, yeah. Like, well, in the heart, just, like, if you yeah. want to keep doing it, like, there's no sense if you're, like... Oh, hi! Buddy. That's beautiful. <laughs> 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 she got your wrapper. He's got his gum wrapper. She got it. I mean, to answer your question, like, I have laid awake at night sometimes and been like, dude, what are you doing? Is this the right choice? Is this the right direction? And then feeling like what art does is make the world a more beautiful place. And so the deeper purpose for this is like, fuck yeah, I want to be part mm. of that. I want to be part of making this world beautiful. And that's what I would be giving back. Yeah. That's part of my contribution. I mean, I do massage. Oh. I make people feel really good. That's a good scene. Right, because you feel like, what are you taking to this world? Because I know someone who's got something bad. Dude, I'm okay. It's not you. <laughs> you looked oh, at me. Oh, yeah. I didn't actually hear your question. No. Are you taking on any more clients? <laughs> and then he looked yeah. over at me. <laughs> I know he needs it. Oh. I know I need it. <laughs> we're yeah, both we pretty much athletes. <laughs> Top tier <laughs> athletes. Top tier. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, totally. We can chat about that. Do you do any athletes? Sorry. Do I massage athletes? Yeah, like Not so conditioning, much. helping them. I massaged a professional ballerina once, and that was really That's intense. Kind of her, way. her like uh, ankles back here, yeah. just like I don't know. Her feet aren't like normal feet; they just like point down. Yeah. yeah, it's interesting to work on different body types. We've actually never had a massage, like a professional, legit massage. So I bet my back's just all knotted. It's great. You get it. Just super knotted. No, mine's knotted too. Like, you should make it part of your like condition. You know, people have conditioning. Well, yeah, I need to like get a routine. Like you're doing yoga after this. You want yeah. to hike. You're just like get out of bed and like do something. You know, like. It's like a tough thing to do. Yeah. Like I mean, I try to make my bed at least. Yeah, yeah totally. I just do something. <laughs> I just make my bed and then we'll move onto the couch. Like I mean, it can be a tough thing to do, right? It's like you've got to have those non-negotiable practices that's that make you feel good in that's your what life. I was telling him about. It's I like mean, the every just... drop in the bucket idea, right? Yeah. You know, like 
just making the bed every day is a drop in the bucket towards feeling better about how you're living your life. Right. But when you're not making those decisions and you're like, well, I'm not going to say you, I'll say I. No, when it's, I, it's okay. When I'm deciding to, like, drink more heavily, that's a drop in the bucket in a direction I don't want to be taking my life. Getting into the mountains, like hiking, yoga, salt baths, whatever, massages, these things are all drops in the bucket towards where I want to be headed. Really? I like the drop in the bucket thing. I like I, yeah. But yeah, no, I get it. Because um, it's like, you could, your friends ask you, like, you want to go out and do this? And you're totally. like, chill, just sitting there. And you, you know you want to go do something, but then you don't. But you feel better if you just go out. Or like mm -hmm. just do that thing that you kind of are pr like procrastinating or pushing off. We all want to be cozy. Yeah, and it sucks because then you feel much better once you get out there and do something. Hey. And I get that. It's like you're being crazy. And like I've recently stopped drinking, but then I feel like I don't know what else to fill my time with right now. So it's just like. There's almost like not any drops going in any, you know what I mean? It's just like, okay, I stopped, I cut it out, yeah. this thing that was really like hindering me, but then like, I don't know. You're in a neutral spot right yeah, now. Yeah, I feel very neutral, very like gray, like mono, just kind of like not going up. Yeah, just... That's a great spot to be yeah. because now you get to choose. You get to make a different choice, which is incredibly empowering. Yeah, and... I, I don't even know where to go from here right now. We'll figure it out. That's what I was talking about with you. Pra yeah. It's, well, you have to have these practices to go. I feel like like some people go to church. Would be but the church and pray doesn't work. Like I said, for me, <laughs> Dude, praying and stuff like that, there's mindfulness practices like going to the mountains and doing stuff. Yeah. Do you really meditate? target where you're at? Of course. Yeah. <laughs> of course yeah, you no, no. Type there, just because she has dreads. No, no. Just because I have dress. <laughs> um, so painting is pretty meditative. Uh, I actually don't sit down a whole lot to meditate. Um, I think <laughs> I feel so like too busy, yeah. no. <laughs> which is silly because there's a saying that's like, if you feel like you're too busy to meditate, then that means you should take an extra hour to meditate. Because then you're like, overworked. Maybe is that like the, the thing? Yeah. Like, like, burn yourself out. You need that hour <laughs> just like chill out. Well, I need a f hobby like like you got like yeah. rock climbing yeah. and like yoga and other stuff that like to feel like I don't know more complete or like put drops in the bucket where like I haven't worked on anything like that lately. Yeah. And I did get into rock climbing with Landon a couple years ago. Cool. And I, I really oh, yeah. I really like rock climbing a lot and I even did like one or two like free climbs or lead cl not really free lead climbs I'm like, not, wow. not free climbs <laughs> no not that gnarly. No, yeah. a couple of lead climbs, which was pretty cool for me, because, like, yeah. uh, I don't know, never really got into it, but I, like, even bought, like, the shoes and, like, a harness, and then cool. just kind of fell out of it, which... Explain her landing thing. Oh. Dude, what is landing thing? That line, I don't even what's know. they call that? What do you... Are they tightrope? Oh, highlining. 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 He's oh. real big. Oh. Slash lining. He sets it up and everything, and I went up a few weeks. He sets ago. it up, like, really high places. He does it, like, with a bunch of group the highliners of Utah or highliners around the world all come here <laughs> and they do the tightrope thing Crazy. and he has I one now in his backyard. I don't want to do anyway. that. Anyway. <laughs> the slack lining is pretty fun. Slack. And like that wasn't, damn this guy. <laughs> <It's okay. laughs> um, the slack lining is pretty cool. You can only be like a few feet off the ground and I don't know, take like, took me a few hours to get the hang of the balance and it's actually pretty fun and I guess I could see that being therapeutic. Yeah. Dude, the highlighter. Come up with us. I would see. I'd rather do shit like base jumping than highlighting <laughs> because like base jumping is just quick. You do the thing. I didn't like, do it. It's I like just... adrenaline. Oh, you were but, crazy. But highlighting is like just like there's adrenaline, but then you have to be patient and calm. Just like slowly. <laughs> I know. Slowly walking on a lot this of things thing, to play with. hundreds of feet up. That I don't. I'm... Well, and you're like you're locked in. You're good. There's some people that like Andy Lewis who will, will just do like hundreds of feet up in Moab, just with no harnesses and will do like highlightings. Wow. That's Dude, one intense. little slip up, you're just dead. Like, there's That's no backup. <laughs> too intense for me. I don't right. want to do that. Rock climbing is good, and rock climbing has a meditative quality to it as well. Mm -hmm. You know, you don't have to always be like sitting cross legged on the floor for it to be considered meditation. Right. Well, I've had buddies, even like Landon, my buddy, who will skate for a few hours and just go ride by himself, and like that's yeah. like meditative for him. Totally. 
yeah, in the summer I like to ride bikes, and it's, you know, it's that feeling right, of just right. being by yourself, moving your body, and the simple connecting things. in, it's connecting like in. It's like a coffee shop. Yeah, well, it's just like little shit that, like, because, I don't know, I'm so used to, like, you're, like, you're, like, living on the high, just, like, doing crazy things that could, like, almost kill you or, like, or, like can be painful or just, like, crazy. So, like, little things like that, just, like, going on a walk or, like, rock climbing or, like, riding a bike or whatever. It's just, like, mundane or, like, feel gray. I'm just, like, what am I supposed to be feeling after this? I don't know if you've ever, like, had that experience. Or, like, maybe you just have to find the next, like, rock climbing. Maybe you get too good at one level. So, you have yeah. to, like, really push yourself for it to not be boring anymore. Yeah, so you can feel differently about it, and mm -hmm. you start going for harder climbs, right? Mm -hmm. And you're like pushing yourself, challenging yourself in a new direction. Um, I'm super introverted, so I'm not doing any of that hardcore. Like, I don't yeah. want to base jump. I don't want to. <laughs> no, that's fine. Have you ever wanted to like skydive or do anything like that? Or you're just like, nah, I don't need to. <clears throat> Skydiving is on my bucket list. Well, at I'm, least you think about it. I'm like, terrified of heights. Well, it's good to do things that you're scared of. But that's why it's on my list. <laughs> what about um, any other things that like on your bucket list like uh, becoming a full-time successful artist you know that's on my bucket list it, it is tricky it is challenging I feel like there's a lot of cards already stacked against you going in you know I like tell people what I'm going to school for and the question that follows is well what are you gonna do with that yeah to polish it but like you, know? you I mean the secret is who cares <laughs> Well, and then it's also like the secret that you were just <laughs> talking about, like just do you, and that's the secret yeah. of people. Like, oh no, I'm not gonna look good enough. Who cares if it looks good enough? The thing is, but we there all is special care. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> and on. so totally, like I've gone through phases where I'm like, yeah, fuck it, who cares? Mm -hmm. And then I get deep down into the work of it, and I'm like, God, I really you care. care. Well, yeah. <laughs> It's like, who else cares, but I care a lot, like, deeply about your That's your why I'm passion. such a failure. Because, oh, Sean, listen, oh, oh, oh. No, I, I don't care, and that's where I'm happy, I don't care. Well, yeah, I mean, as no, long as you're I happy, that, like, if you, like, I've gone on that route where I didn't want to go, where I just go my way, So that, like, I'm only, my way is like, that's, that's me. This that's kid, my thing. This kid is crazy. <laughs> Most people see the hyper side of him, <laughs> but like almost all day he's been just cuddling with me on the couch, like just being super mellow. And then yeah. once he gets that sleep, um, or just I was thinking about looking at him. Uh, like where like well, when you do pursue like your own art, you're trying to make money off it. You like people see it as like you're just playing the whole time, like it's just fun. This is your hobby, this is what you like to do. But it does become work too, like and totally. it's and then it becomes constant work. You're not like waking up to go to like a regular nine to five all the time, or like maybe even if you are, you're still having to work on this other thing. You're going to school for the art, you're still having yeah. to paint, trying to put your art up there, like get your name out there yeah. so you can sell it, and then you want to do classes and just like <coughs> trying to get people to care about you and your art and be yeah. interested in it. And it takes years, and some people get like a few months, even a couple years, and like, oh, maybe this isn't my thing. Like, you can go five, even ten years before you see any real. Uh, you know, like any steps forward to like a career in whatever you decide to do. Social media has kind of changed the name of that game, though. And it's like it's helped and it's hindered. I feel totally. Like. It has. Because yeah. you can get out there, but then it's like it's oversaturated, and nobody's special anymore in a way. Or everyone's trying to make yeah. it. Everyone's trying to be famous, but there's no passion or heart in it. I feel like. Do you ever notice that with certain things? That's one narrative. Like, like some people. Yeah, yeah. It's not like everybody, but. Yeah. Like, they're just doing it because they're bored to put it on social media, but there's no, like, you can tell one person from the other, maybe, like, me or somebody would be like, okay, those two people are artists, they're, they're the same, like, heart, but then you could yeah. see, like, no, this person definitely cares a lot more than this person, <laughs> you know what I mean? And, like, that doesn't matter, I guess it doesn't matter, but, like, I don't know how you yeah, feel about that. That's kind of a vague uh, place to go off of. Um, <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, there's there's just so much wrapped into what you just said. I feel like you do have to have a lot of heart and soul to carry you through the parts that are going to be challenging. Oh, yeah. You know, it's just part of the journey. Like, there's going to be highs and lows, and you've got to do the work to earn your place mm -hmm. in that, you know, wherever it is you want to be. If you want to get to this tier, you've got to put yourself in some uncomfortable 
positions. You gotta like do your own work around it. My work this year is consistency. Like show up and be consistent in in all the things that you do. You have to be painting more, dude. Beautiful. You've gotta be showing up more. You've gotta even on the days, especially on the days where I don't fucking wanna make art, it's super important to just show up to my sketchbook and draw anything, something. Like it's this I do the same thing with yoga. Like sometimes I'll be like, oh, I do not wanna practice today. And then I'll tell myself, okay, just do cat cow, that's it. And I I just like lower the bar so much where I'm like, I can just do cat cow. And then when I'm on the mat, I'm like, okay, this actually feels really good. I wanna hang out here, I wanna do this. So it can actually, you know, be the landing spot for breakthroughs. And then you can get more into that habit. And then you don't have to you try just, to get people to yeah. care about your art. You don't have to try to get people to care about what you're doing. Like, yeah. they feel it, and they see it, and they are curious. They want to know. Mm -hmm. You know? Man, can you hang out all the time? Well, I... <laughs> you hear that all day, dude. I understand that. <laughs> you feel better once you do it, though. Like, you're totally. dreading it, you're dreading it, you're dreading it. <clears throat> and then, if you don't do it, you can't... You go to bed unhappy. Or whatever, yeah. like you, and then once you finally do it, you're like, okay, I'm so glad I sat down and edited this video, or yeah. did some yoga, or you know, yeah. painted. But that's some I, I've seen at a lot of my friends' demise when they don't <coughs> push themselves, Sorry. like you said, what do you mean? Yeah. and don't do that at all. When you don't push yourself, like where you really go into a dark hole and just like give up. Yeah. Like, like yeah, I don't want to go that route. But. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are getting me deep. I mean, let's... Yeah, like, my friend, I always asked him, like, dude, because there was so much opportunity for him, and he just gave up. I mean, like, just, just put your... Do your art, put your fucking hand down, and just go. Yeah. Like, people have told him that a ton. And he kind of just got eaten up with the world. You what can't his really be told. Mind. Also, like, if people were telling me, like, Kyler, you do more stunts. Oh, yeah, do, yeah. True. You gotta do this. <laughs> like, don't tell me what to do. Like, I don't <laughs> yeah, want to. I like, got gotcha. you. You know what I mean? Like, you're, like, being <laughs> yeah. told, like, you have to do this, and it makes you, like, you not want to, even it, like, I don't know, subconsciously. But maybe if you, like, approached it in a different way, be like, yeah. hey, let's go do this together. Right. Rather than, like, hey, yeah. you go, go paint. Go, go paint right now. Nobody's telling me to do that. Yeah, exactly. It's all self-motivating. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, you can't, like, and they can tell you your worst enemy. Totally. You can totally be your worst enemy because of that, right? It's, like, mm -hmm. I have a vision inside of me of where I want to go, and... I feel like I have paintings inside of me that are just waiting for me to get to the skill level where I can paint them. Right. And that is frustrating. That's a frustrating feeling to be like, okay, I see where I want to be, and I'm so far away from that You place. have this vision, and then when you try to go do it, it's just like, it just won't, yeah. it can't come out. It's a humbling, Not yet. It's a humbling journey. Your worst you days are your best days. I well. mean, you just have to keep going for yeah, it, right? Yeah. you got to have that consistency piece, starting to get dialed, and... I mean, I would look at some of the things I'd draw at the beginning and be like, so disheartened. I'd be like, fuck, I'm never going to get there. I'm so far away from where I want to be. And also, right now, I'm really far away from where I came from. Mm. You know? How long have you been uh, painting or what, um, doing this sort of art? I've been painting, honestly, just more seriously this last year. I've been drawing a lot. Um, painting was really scary, actually. There's a lot more that goes into it. Drawing is like your sketchbook and some pencils mm -hmm. and painting, especially with oil, it's so different and complex and there's way more to learn. Um, I've never oil painted ever, so I, I don't know. Yeah. I have no idea. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a lot. There's a big learning curve, you know. Um, I mean, I'm still taking classes. I'm taking like figure painting right now. But how does someone learn painting? Like, and figure. know if you're doing figure. it right. I was, like, finger, I was like finger painting. Yeah, I'm taking finger. finger painting. I was like, alright. No, no how do they know painting. if you're doing it right? I don't know. Doing it right. What does that like, mean? Dude, judge your... That's so like, judge well, and jury. it's like, like all in the eye of the beholder and you're like, oh... You didn't use your strokes with purple or something. <laughs> well, you know, it depends <laughs> on what you're wanting to paint. Right, because you can this be painting so abstract, and yeah. then it, yeah, everything yeah. kind of goes out the window. I like to paint more realistic, um, like figures, hands, the body, which and, makes sense. And hands I, are really hard, I've heard. To, hands to, are really to hard. Drop. Yeah, okay. and okay. you want to get proportions right. You just right. did some or something, or was that? I did, I did some today. Yeah. Yeah, for a little homework assignment. There we go. That's yeah. what you meant. Homework. Homework, like, yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I've had friends, like, oh, let's go, let's sit around, let's have some drinks, whatever, let's paint. <laughs> 
and let's sort of draw. And I'm like, I go and I sit in front of the little piece of paper. They all have canvases that they bought and they're all painting random shit. I'm just like yeah. staring at this thing. Like, I don't know where to start. I don't yeah. know what to paint. I don't want to like mess it up by starting some, like, I don't even like, it's like the motive, the, imi the imagination and motivation is just like no sparks for when it comes to like painting stuff. Totally. And I would love to be able to like just mellow out and just paint, you know, when I'm not doing much. But I, you don't even know where you like begin. Uh, do you have ever, pro ever have problems with like motivation or like, yeah. um, like uh, what you'd want to paint or like where do you go? You just for, <coughs> or like what, like where would you go? I know oh. she paints like realistic <laughs> stuff, like where do you go to like, to get like to learn to know uh, sort of like to, like what you would want to start painting like you're just randomly out of nowhere oh. do you have like already like ideas I guess or so you know? what I've done I used to hang out on Tumblr a lot <laughs> which is like an old I used to have a Tumblr for this yeah. time I used it for like a year or two. it's like an old social it's an older social media Good. but it's more Tumblr. artistic um, yeah it's just more artistic yeah. it's all it's all visual art. Uh, and so, I would just look back through all the things that would that used to inspire me. Inspire. That's the word I was trying to think. Of. <laughs> yeah. Inspire you to what you wanted to paint. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and you know, and Good sometimes word. I'll just do that for like an hour or two, and I'll get really inspired and be like, okay, there's so many things. You know, there's so many things in your room that you could just set up and start drawing, mm -hmm. right? And just practice like really seeing things how they are, because we have an idea of how we see something. And then you try to draw it from how you think it looks, but it actually looks really different. Like you could even sit here and like sketch out this microphone right here. And it's actually really detailed and there's a lot going on right here. Even yeah, yeah. like all the folds of the duct tape, all these little <laughs> tiny squares. Yeah, and then yeah. they change shape as they like, you know what I mean? And that comes with like... Yeah. yeah. And it's cool, like it's the Simple practice pleasure. of seeing things, how they really are, which is cool. Like a lot of life metaphors happen while I'm painting. <laughs> Simple pleasures, man. Simple. Yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, I would start with taking a thing that is interesting enough for you to like be engaged with for mm. 30 or 30 minutes to an hour and just set it in front of you and like just start with that. I get that's what I started with. And then I was like, oh wow, I need to learn some like, <laughs> I need to learn some real things because these are not looking like how I want you need them to learn to look. like shade and like. Yeah scale and perspective and light yeah 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 and i was like well if you're gonna get serious and you've got to go back to school like you've done massage for years and years and i went through yoga, two yoga teacher trainings and just have been cruising on that for the last 10 years so it's amazing i love being in the health and wellness industry and also painting is cool and it's cool to inspire people and yeah. it feels aspire to inspire yeah feels good to be in the energy of just that, being inspired, like being hungry for it, yeah. like being hungry for what's going to inspire me next. Like right now I'm painting one of my girlfriends and she's just this beautiful, beautiful woman and I'm like, ah, I need to paint you as this like beautiful, in this beautiful goddess piece, I just, I want that, you know? And that just leads to the next thing, I'm like, whoa, I need to know how to paint flowers, I've never done that, I need to you do that you don't know how to paint some hands like just get to the next step and then you're, you're you keep being led you know the inspiration leads you mm -hmm. and and then it's not really so much work as just listening to where you're being led and, and really acting on it you need to listen that's because then you get stressed and overthink like oh, i need to learn to do this like you just said all, all these things you just do one at a time and just like work on that like just, let it just yeah. take you yeah bite-sized pieces you know little little tiny steps like when i look at the big picture it seems overwhelming it's scary and i'm like i have no idea how i'm gonna get there <laughs> like what i want to i want to get like i want to go up there and what the fuck and then i have to like rewind back and be like okay remember you started there and now you're here you're already like you know okay this so far what are the next two or three steps and i have to almost like know that this is where i'm headed and then dial it back down and be like, okay, this is what I can realistically do right now. But then all the, it's the drop in the bucket. Mm -hmm. All those things, like, they add up. Drop in the bucket. Yep. They add up, so. They do. Where do you hike, where is your favorite hike? I'm hiking up Mill Creek Canyon. Mill Creek Canyon? Yeah, I got a pass up there. It's totally but do you have to have a pass? 
Sorry. I have like getting over a sinus infection. You're <laughs> I don't you're have fine. COVID. <laughs> I actually just got tested in the game. Either way. Sorry, I'm just we all have, a lot. It's okay. Um you don't need a pass to go up there. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I just got an annual pass because uh, I'm up there a whole bunch. Oh. But it's beautiful. What's an annual? What is it? Just, just a pass for a year so I don't have to pay every time I'm leaving the canyon. You can, oh, so they have a gate. You have to pay or? It's not a Oh, the they like have a national pay. park type of thing. It's not a national park, but it's a part, it's a, it's a part of the forest that's taken care of. So all that oh. money is going back to, back to taking care of this forest. And the trails, keeping the trails nice. Oh yeah. So on. Um, it's great. Definitely that's a I good need to place. Do more of that. It's a good place to start if you're like in a neutral spot and you're like I just kicked drinking and I don't know where to go next. Like go to the mountains. Yeah. Um, the Wa <laughs> Wasatch Mountain. Whatever's Wasatch. closest to you guys. That's why I've gone to a few little things there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just like I think it's like twenty five minute drive to I don't know if it's bigger little cottonwood. Pretty much the yeah. same. Oh, distance. cottonwood, yeah. Yeah, it took me like half an hour to drive here, so I'm like right, right up by you're the right. canyon. You're right. Oh, you are? Yeah. Oh, dang, you're living it. I know. I know. <laughs> it's People nice. have been coming out here, which is good. <laughs> Change location. I oh, know, I came out all the way to the west side. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> it's <laughs> fine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, definitely go to the mountain. I mean, when I don't know what to do, I go to the mountains. You have a painting you always keep doing. Is it the what is that picture of you? Uh, which that one? I keep seeing. Yeah, is it where I have like smoke in my hand? Something like that, right? I mean, <laughs> no, I've painted a. <laughs> no, it's like all the same. You like have this like everywhere. Like it's your signature, I'd say, but not really. I might be wrong. It's like a picture of a person with something in their hand. Yeah, yeah, that's me. <laughs> okay, there you go. <laughs> I'm just I like, like thinking about all the things I painted. I'm like, which one is it? <laughs> that's it definitely a good must one. be that one. And I'm like wearing a crown. Okay. Yeah. Uh, that yeah. was part of the oil painting course that I took. Mm -hmm. uh, I wouldn't have chosen to do that myself, actually. Um, it was an archetypal oil painting course. So she walked us through meditation, and in that meditation, you meet an archetype, right? Like uh, the like mine was the queen. So I painted myself in as the queen. We could be like the lover, the jest, like the jester, the joker, sacred fool. Um, I don't know the king, the prostitute, whatever. All of these <laughs> archetypes that you could be like the artist, the wild woman, whatever. So mine was the queen. I ended up painting myself in as the queen, and there's yeah, it was really cool. There's something really, really shifting for your perspective to see yourself in this like power empowered sort of position and pose. As I was painting it, I was like, whoa, this is a really powerful practice. I'm into this. So for like a self-portrait, would you have to like just look at a picture of yourself or do you imagine like what you would look like? Or like In that in that case, because I it was like a full, almost like a half body image of me, <clears throat> I actually just set up my phone and I've turned it on video. And I did a whole bunch of poses, mm. and then I turned around and took the screenshots, <clears throat> and then I took it to a printing shop and blew it up, and then I threw down a charcoal transfer so that I could have something more accurate to work from. Yeah. Because I think if I was looking in a mirror, I might That'd be tough. fuck up the proportions. <laughs> you can, <laughs> but, so you can see all that stuff on your Instagram, or do you have another page? Yeah, so I pu I'm posting everything onto my Instagram social media, which is humble.yogi. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I don't have anything on my website right now. No, okay. I think I'm in school, and so right Humble. now I'm like a student it mindset. It keeps popping up around me. That's how I found you. Cool. <laughs> around other friends that you know and that kind of stuff. So. Awesome. Yeah, you're always putting something up. That's really good. Yeah. Yeah. So if you're out there, humble.yogi. <laughs> humble.yogi on Instagram. Yeah. <laughs> the website will come soon. Stay tuned. <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. Websites are going out of business. Yeah, it's really more Instagram to social media and marketing. more YouTube and yeah, yeah. just totally. do your thing. <laughs> I plan to. Yeah, I like goodbyes. <laughs> we can like goodbyes. Yeah. yeah. All right. You always come back. This so is amazing. amazing. You don't even know how great thank this was. So, thank you so much <laughs> for me for, for me today. Yeah, it good. was good. Yeah, it was great. How do you? It was awesome to hear <laughs> some different perspectives. Honestly. Yes. Cool. Different than your your than, usual. Yeah. No, well, we no we get. 
we're the mix of all this. It's yeah, pretty much it's everything, beautiful. but everybody's art. So Something like we get this route, happy. we go other routes, and this yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've tuned in. You guys have an eclectic group of people that you yes. get in. Yes, but yeah. like we like that's what's really cool. We like, just love hearing all that kind of stuff that you talked about. Cool. And have a time for that. Yeah. For ourselves. Mm -hmm. And hopefully others out there will enjoy. Yeah. <laughs> so no, that we don't. Yeah, you bet. <laughs> All right. What was your Instagram again? Humble.yogi. Go check her out. Show her some love. <laughs> Thanks. Better buy her art. <laughs> <laughs> you know that. <laughs> We're stealing. <laughs> oh, no. Thanks, guys. All right. I'm going to yeah. turn this live stream off. I just get off. asleep. Yeah, you're a cow whisperer. Thank you. I just struggle. Thank you for tuning in, America. America. Everybody out there, get up in the mountains. <laughs>